hello guys welcome to MEP engineering tutorials the topic which I'm gonna discuss today is related to the foam fire extinguishing system design calculation so basically this is the spreadsheet which I'm gonna use to calculate uh, basically three factors which are most important for calculating this foam fire extinguishing design is the tank capacity we have to calculate number of sprinklers we have to calculate and the minimum pressure required at the input so basically four sheets so we go step by step to calculate each one of them so here's just uh, one general assumption that system is an automated sprinkler system utilizing foam water sprinklers head integrated into complete deluge system so here we have taken example for the electrical substation so we just keep a number 39.2 and inside we have uh, this one generator room which is represented as G001 as per the drawing you have to give the name reference of this generator room so here we have some inputs that needs to be used as per NFPA standards that will be helpful to calculate uh, the number of sprinklers and other factors so first we have here the discharge uh, criteria which is 6.5 liters per minute square meters which is equal to 0.16 gpm per square foot so this is as per nfpa standards section 7.2.2.1 so we have got this value as per this uh, nfpa 16 so let me just show you here in the section 7.2.2.1 the discharge criteria so we can go here nfpa 16 and let's see the section 7.2 so this is you can see that 7.2.2.1 the discharge design discharge density shall be in accordance with the applicable occupancy standard for the water or foam water system but in no case less than 0.16 gpm per square feet or 6.5 liter per minute square meters so this is what we have got in here the same value again the next thing we have a discharge duration so discharge duration is according to nfpa 16 section 7.2.3.1 so let's see this one also in nfpa 16 this section so discharge duration is 10 minutes so let's go back here and get this section in here 7.2.3.1 so you can see that the foam concentration shall be designed to discharge for a period of 10 minutes based on the density as specified in section 7.2.2.1 so we have selected the density uh, 6.5 and based on that we have this uh, discharge duration which is 10 minutes so this is what we have selected in here next we come to the foam concentration so basically foam concentration is come in three different steps like uh, three different uh, points like even like one uh, percent three percent or six percent normally we take three percent foam concentration and i will discuss more this foam concentration later down there so based on the foam concentration type we uh, like we have different types of foam concentration but i will discuss later down there when we come to the foam concentration type so we take normally one percent three percent or six percent and uh, most commonly we take three percent here foam concentration so we have used three percent foam concentration then room area uh, this you have to check as per the drawing so you go to the drawing and check the area of this generator room which is for example like 200 square meters so i have selected 200 square meters in here now the minimum area per sprinkler is 9.3 uh, square meters as per NFPA 16 section 7.6.1 so let's go to the standard again for 7.6.1 and see that one so go back to NFPA 16 again here so this one we come here sprinkler spacing shall not exceed 100 square foot 9.3 square meter per sprinkler so this is what we got in here and we write the value in here now we have to calculate the first uh, parameter which is number of sprinklers so we know the area 200 square meter we know the minimum area as per nfpa 16. so 200 divided by 9.3 we get the number of sprinklers 21.51 and round off to 22 sprinklers so we need 22 sprinklers there 
now we come to the next step here we have to calculate the foam tank capacity which is our second parameters but for that first step we may have to do here is a flow of foam solution which is equal to discharge density into the area we know that discharge density here is this one 6.5 liters per minute uh, square meters and uh, we know the area is this one 200 square meters so we multiply this and get uh, flow of the foam solution is 1300 liters per minute now we come to since we know the flow we come to the second step volume of the foam solution which is flow of foam solution into discharge duration so we know the uh, flow of the foam solution discharge duration we said that 10 minutes in the beginning we defined this one 10 minutes so we have to multiply this 1300 with 10 is equal to 13,000 liters now we come to the next step which is quantity of the foam concentration which is equal to volume of foam solution into foam concentration so we know that uh, volume of the foam solution is 13,000 liters and we set that foam concentration is 3% so it comes with 1%, 3 or 6% and we set we take normally 3% so we take 3% in here which we defined in here so we just multiply 13,000 with 3% we get 390 liters which is equal to 103 gallons so the foam tank capacity is 103 gallons but uh, just make sure that this is not the actual uh, foam tank capacity it it will be changed later based on the third parameter i will explain you later so just to uh, keep it at the moment in here and we come to the next point uh, design pressure at the nozzle so the minimum uh, operating pressure for the nozzle is 30 psi as per nfp 15 section a.8.1.2 so if we go to that section as well and check the minimum operating pressure for the nozzle so here we check the next section so this one the minimum operating pressure is required for the proper pattern development and to overcome the effect of the wind for nozzle with orifice 3 by 8 inches which is 9.5 mm or less minimum operating pressure is 30 psi which is equivalent to 207 kPa as well so okay so this one we have taken here 30 psi and the type of the foam concentration which we have used here is AFFF so basically we have different types of foam concentration solution I will just uh, go here into another sheet to explain you you can see that there are different types of uh, foam concentration used by the firefighters today for example this AFFF which is aqueous film forming foam then there are more here fluoroprotein film forming fluoroprotein fffp so as i said it's are available uh, in one percent three percent or six percent type concentration so what uh, when you see this three percent afff uh, concentration what does it mean it means that uh, three per for example if the container of the foam concentration is three percent shown you on the tank that means every hundred gallons of foam solution required three gallons of the foam concentration must be used in the solution with a balance of 97 gallons of water same with six percent were displayed this means six gallons of foam concentrate would require to mix 100 minus 6 which is equal to 94 gallons of water to form 100 gallons of foam solution so this is what it means if you see three percent one percent or six percent on the foam concentration type so next we go to the sprinkler distribution now the coverage area per sprinkler as we already see that minimum is 9.3 square uh, square meters uh, now we know the number of sprinklers 21.5 to 22 22 uh, number of sprinklers so we just get this value uh, 200 square meters is the total uh, area 200 square meters the total area and we say 22 number of sprinklers so we get 9.1 square meter is the actual coverage area per sprinkler and if we convert to square feet it will be 97.8 square feet now we come to the next step so here what we have to do for the open sprinkler dedicated uh, foam water uh, deluge 
systems we have this most important equation q is equal to k square root of p q is basically the gpm flow rate and k is the sprinkler constant factor and p is the minimum pressure required so this value of k we have to get from the supplier based on the sprinkler we use we have to use this value k so let's say we have used this uh, k value 3 for the sprinkler constant factor this is as per uh, the manufacturer you have to get this value so now here we have two approaches first approach is to satisfy the density and second is to satisfy the minimum pressure required we will check both and we will get the one with the greater demand so first let's take density as a governing constraint in the beginning we set discharge criteria for uh, density is 0.16 gpm per square feet if you remember in the beginning we said this one this one so this is the first factor which we have uh, taken here now q is equal to uh, we have to calculate uh, q here we know the value of uh, k constant factor we know it's 3 we know that uh, design discharge density is 0.16 now we have to Okay, so now we use this equation q is equal to k square root of p. We said first governing uh, factor is this uh, design density which is 0.16 gpm per square foot. So if we calculate uh, gpm from this one, so we know that it's 0.16 into multiply the area which we said that coverage area per sprinkler is 97.8. So if you multiply this 0.16 with 97.8 So you get 15.6 uh, GPM Now you have the value of Q Now you know the value of K Sprinkler constant factor which is 3 Now you can easily calculate the minimum pressure required so after putting all the values in this equation you get the value of uh, minimum pressure 27.2 and now this case it is rejected the first uh, step which we applied here why it's rejected because we said the minimum pressure of, uh, for the nozzle is 30 psi since this calculated here is less than what we said the minimum pressure so this case is rejected now we go to the next case where we take uh, operating minimum operating pressure as a governing constraint which we said 30 psi is the minimum nozzle operating pressure so here we know the value of p we know the value of k so we can easily calculate q by using this equation so we put all the values in and we calculate q as 16.4 gpm now we have the flow rate 16.4 gpm now we can easily get the discharge criteria area meaning this tight density we can easily calculate in here so you use this one 16.4 which flow rate is calculated here divided by h70 which is this 97.8 square feet so 16.4 divided by 97.8 which is equal to 0 0.167 and if you round off it will be 0 0.17 so we see the discharge criteria or discharge density is 0.17 gpm per square feet and this criteria is accepted because we said that in any case minimum discharge density is 0.16 gpm per square foot since the calculated one is greater than the minimum one so this criteria is accepted so we come to the next point in here before going to calculate this uh, pressure loss at each pipe segment i will just come here where we set the tank capacity if you remember i just said in the when we calculate the tank capacity is 103 uh, gallons here from tank capacity but now we have the actual uh, discharge criteria density 0.17 gpm because in the beginning we use the minimum which is 0.16 now this is the actual discharge density or discharge criteria 0.17 gpm per square foot so this we have to use in here to calculate the actual so we have to use uh, 0.17 gpm per square foot instead of 0.16 here to get the actual 
foam tank capacity which is 108 gallons number of sprinklers we have already calculated and the last point which we are going to calculate here is the minimum pressure required at the input point how we get this one so uh, here we have a, a table but i will not explain this one again here uh, if you guys don't know how to calculate the pressure loss against each pipe segment you can go to my video where i have explained sprinkler system design calculation where i have explained in detail how to calculate the pressure loss across each pipe segment and to calculate the total pressure loss in here i will give the link in the description below you can follow that as well just to explain you here uh, according to the trying you have to write those uh, for example this is the starting point uh, of the uh, table here which called s1 then we have other pipe segment and each pipe segment with representing as node 1 to node 2 node 2 to node 3 node 3 to node 4 and then node 4 to outlet system based on the drawing basically you have to write those as well then from the drawing you have to see the gpm you have to write here diameters you know from the drawings already has been calculated so you have to put those diameters here then the pipe length which has already been uh, checked from the drawing and put it here then c factor c is the factor as per the material so here we have galvanized steel we use c factor 120 for galvanized steel and here we have to calculate the pressure loss psi per foot of the pipe so this is what i was saying you can check my other video for sprinkler system design calculation to calculate the pressure loss against each pipe segment so you can go there and check how to calculate this one so after that you have to calculate the total um, pressure loss across each node or across each pipe segment for the first one it is important to get the minimum pressure to be added so we said that minimum pressure across each uh, across the uh, nozzle is 30 psi so you make sure you add the minimum pressure which is here 30 psi plus the uh, pressure loss for this first one so basically pressure loss for the first one is 30 psi which is the minimum pressure required at the nozzle plus for this s1 and the next one is cumulative now so it comes to the next one is so uh, you take the first one plus it's for the second pipe segment so it's like cumulative so in the end you will have 74 psi pressure loss so now we have to add some static pressure loss as well let's see uh, from let's see we get some 5 psi static pressure loss that needs to be added into the total so 74 plus 5 equal to 79 psi now we have to add 30 percent um like a safety factor so we will add some safety factor here uh, 30 percent due to the fittings what we have in here valves t's elbows we just add 30 percent and some factors to be added so total pressure loss is 103 psi so 79 into 30 percent plus 79 so 103 so now we have all the parameters which we need to calculate for foam fire extinguishing system we know the tank capacity 108 gallons number of sprinklers 22 and minimum pressure required at the input point is 103 psi which is just calculated in here so this is how you have to design the foam fire extinguishing system so in the end uh, i will just uh, explain about the spreadsheets if any one of you interested in buying those spreadsheets you can join the channel membership or you can proceed through paypal as well paypal is a one-time payment option which you can use to get all the spreadsheets there are more than 35 spreadsheets available you can inquire using uh, by email you can find the email address in the about section of the channel and you can inquire about the spreadsheets and softwares then i will provide you the details so i hope you guys learn something from this video if you want to see more content you can just uh, write in the comment section and i will try to upload more contents more content soon so let's end this one now and uh, i will upload soon the next video 
थैंक यू बाय